coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Happening today, the VFW Post 972 in Terre Haute will celebrate those who served our country. The typical Veterans Day parade is not happening this year, but instead the Post will hold an Armistice Day ceremony. Now, because of the pandemic, the ceremony will be outside and social distancing will be encouraged. Organizers want to ensure veterans are still honored. Then we'll, then we'll celebrate our day. This is not a day of mourning. It's not Memorial Day. It's a happy day for veterans, so come on down and be happy. Begin at 11 this morning. It'll be at the VFW Post 972 near 12th and Eagle Streets. All are welcome. The coronavirus continues to spread rapidly in the United States, and the nation set a single day record for new infections on Tuesday with over 135,000 confirmed cases. More than 1,400 deaths were reported, pushing the country's pandemic death toll above 239,000. Infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci said he expects. Pfizer will seek an emergency use authorization for its COVID-19 vaccine within the next week and a half. The Knox County Health Department has new recommendations for schools and winter sports due to COVID-19. Health officials want fans to be limited to parents and siblings. And if there's more than one game, only show up for your family member's game. Plus, there should be no concession stand services. Again, this is for Knox County schools. And the Clay County Food Group Delivery Program needs your help. Now, this Christmas orders, they needed roughly $40,000. And there have been a couple grants, but the group is still short by roughly $25,000. Learn how you can help at WTHITV.com. Catholic Charities in Terre Haute is also working to help bridge that gap. Tomorrow is the annual Share Your Thanksgiving. You're looking at video from a previous, a previous year. You can donate non-perishable food or cash. Donation collection will be at the Meadow Shopping Center this year. It'll be in the parking lot from 2.30 to 6.30. We are going to see temperatures lower today. We're in the mid-50s, closer to normal for this time of year. And the clouds that we have right now are going to move out. So it is going to cool down. We're going to have mostly sunny skies. And tonight, the clear skies continue. We're in the lower 30s. Clear skies, cold conditions to start the day tomorrow, but tomorrow our temperatures will be a little bit higher. We're going to be mostly sunny through the day, but it's going to take some time to get to a more comfortable spot with our temperatures due to how cold it's going to be in the morning tomorrow. So just be prepared for more fall like conditions for these next several days. And our next chance of rain is going to arrive both Saturday, Sunday. Temperatures going to be in the mid 50s on Saturday and then even warmer on Sunday. All right, thanks Brady and thank you for joining us for News 10 this morning. Have a great day. For the most local news, every newscast, every day, you can depend on News 10. Coverage you can count on.